Well, greetings, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, wherever you may be viewing from. A happy Black Friday to you, and thank you for joining me on this episode of Bayou Gold Guy. I am Bayou Gold Guy, and following up, I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving this year. And there's still, uh, I know I'm still going to be working on that turducken for a while, but uh, uh, we're going to about to be going to call and see if Lynch has their obligatory Black Friday sale coming up and uh, maybe getting a bag of that to uh, test to uh, see what, they, what they're handing out this year on sale. But today I have some very cool pay dirt with some awesome gold in it that's um, coming from uh, a well-known supplier and uh, has some great gold, uh, great varieties of gold. So we are going to get right into that. So as my friend John Diamond likes to say, salam, super duper, let's go <laughs> and see what turn to the new gold epicenter of South Louisiana, our table. And that's right. You know that bag. When you see the gold bag, you know you've got some gold bay. And I got this. I'm starting here early today. And uh, yeah, we got us a bag full. And this is some of the rare wire gold. So yeah, let's get set up here and we'll be right back. Well, all right. And this is kind of the reason why I don't like doing this until later in the day because the sun. And if y'all notice the. Uh, Although I do have the awning that's up now above me on the side here. But uh, yeah, the, the, if y'all remember earlier in the season, the sun, we, this was all shifted way over this way for because we so the sun has moved that direction considerably as it's uh, tracking across the sky at this time of the year compared to the summertime doing it. So yeah, it's a, it really breaks it up. So uh, at any rate, this is some Gold Bay, the rare wire gold from california it goes it sells for actually i paid 72 dollars and 15 cents for it because i had ordered it with the five percent off on the uh purchase uh that he had on the promotion for it and uh i whenever i ordered it, i sent in a uh, I, I put in a message on it saying on my first order because i've done this before on my first order of the $99 a gram wire gold, I recovered 0.96 of the one gram. I had done finer gold, went through my tailings a couple of times, and uh, I emailed you and called but received no reply. I have subsequently ordered some awesome gold from you. Loved the $150 a gram, three gram quartz gold I ordered last. Just wanted to mention first wire uh, bag discrepancy now since I'm ordering more. Thank you, coupon October 5 off. And then uh, I actually received a handwritten note on the thing saying added extra gold. Sorry for the mistake, Brian. So that's very cool. So, yeah, I'll have to uh, we'll look at the numbers. It was, again, it was like, I think, $9, $9 shipping on this. If I'd added an extra gram of gold, though, it would have gone up to like, 20 21 dollars it's just it's just ridiculous what's going on with the postage on this stuff and uh so but we got this we went ahead and got some with the the discount code and mainly i got it because like i said the first time i did were 90 dollars 99 dollars a gram not 90 it was 99 dollars for the the one gram bag so let's start out by breaking this down because we are going to be dealing with the fine the fine gold and you can see it's very dusty and dry wind is just carrying again i'm getting that that back draft here carrying stuff off i got a, i got a wall there you know why do I, why do i get wind blowing like it's coming directly off the wall <laughs> like that seemed a lot quieter with this microphone than it did when i was doing that without the microphone and those those rocks screaming at you on the recording so there we have our breakdowns our three three sizes so let's uh get some water some jet dry and uh crank this puppy up well we're starting out we're gonna i thought we'd go ahead and do the bigger stuff and you can see right there i have already 
picked out there's a, a piece of wire gold little flake just showing up there in the bottom of this kitchen strainer size stuff so let's go ahead and we'll start with this medium size we got our our temp off pan here but i don't think this stuff's going to be that dirty to worry about it no it's not bad so so that's the thing about this it is the uh wire gold that i bought from him over a year ago that he was selling the rare wire gold for $99 a, a gram came in the red clay, that god awful, just, you know, like I said, it's blood red, stains the water, you can't ever get it clear. And uh, people would ask him, what's the secret of getting the gold out of this? And that he'd always say, you know, do it slow, <laughs> a teaspoon at a time was the secret of getting it out so that's how i worked it whenever i did the first bag and again that uh that red clay made it where when you try to suck up your uh your gold it would disappear under the water with just a you know a, a 16th of an inch of water flowing over it to be able to suck it up so uh yeah it was a the the, the material made it very challenging and there is not any, that's what I was expecting this to be, the red clay. And it is not. So we will see. Actually, we did not add our jet dry to that either. But we are down and I'm seeing some nice gold showing up on here already. I move out into the sun. I can't, when I do that though, I can't see. <laughs> on the, the glare from the lens. But that's looking already like some very nice gold. But it's looking kind of chunky. And we've got, I've got my wire gold that I did the first time still in the vial. Oh, I'm rinsing, see I'm rinsing it down with that. There's a piece that's going out. So we will definitely compare this seven. I think it was, I think the bag I'll, I'll, I'll post the amount here. I think it was going for $75 or something like that. And then with the coupon code, it came down to 72, but that's some beautiful gold, but it's pretty chunky it is not does not look like the wiry stuff I had before that was so tiny, but it is pretty. It definitely looks good in the sun there. Actually, it just overrides it in the sun with this camera. That's a little better. But that, there's, a, there's a, a piece there that has a little bit of wiry look to it. So, all right, well, we'll just have to see what that's a good, that's a damn good start. I went. I did find when I went back through that pan, another small flake and a tiny, tiny thin piece of wire. So yeah, once once we're done looking for it here, I take it out in the sun and <laughs> give it a a good once over. But we have another nice batch showing up in here. I'm seeing some nice pieces looking at the top. And that's it. Another. That's not. That's not gold. And that's not gold. But that is. So pretty. Pretty nice little chunks again there. So that is that. Now let's go ahead and what is that? It's some kind of soft, fuzzy, it looks almost like a cocoon or something. <laughs> it's not, we're not gonna we're not gonna pan that. So let's just go through this and see what, if anything washes out, maybe a, a little piece of 
little piece of wire was stuck on one of that in the mud. It's nice having a smaller material there, not the, the big giant rocks that make up so much of a lot of these bigger bags. The three pound bags tend to have a pound and a half of rock in them. It's usually just weight, just filler. But these are smaller and uh, not quite as many for that bag for what we got. So that's that's cool. I know a number of people have questioned that over the years that he's been doing it as far as why do you put so much just useless big rock in your bags for filler instead of just dirt, you know. So I'm not seeing anything. Hold on, let's look at the sun. Nope. So, all right, so we are clear there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned out so I don't have to go. I'll have to, I know I'll have to be going back through this stuff at least twice. So we're going to get this cleaned up so I don't have all the extra here. All right. I've started with, uh, actually, I dumped out more than I intended to into this, I think. But since it's not the red clay, I'm feeling kind of. <laughs> it's a definitely, definitely a different animal to recover than it was with that other stuff, no doubt. Actually, we will, I guess, pour off some of this dirty stuff. Yeah, I put too much uh, material in here for the first pan, but just keep it stratified as long as that fine stuff stays settled in the bottom. We're all right. I said I really like the look of the wire gold. It had a it had a very unique, very unique uh, shape and and contours and just look to it. But uh, then I got the crystallized gold from uh, Gold Nugget Sales. That was not only the crystallized gold, but it was full of some really nice, bigger, larger wire gold that really really showed up nice because the the stuff from gold bay it even said it's it's best viewed under a loop because it is so small uh the stuff from gold nugget sales was like i said it was it was size was very nice so again i'm just curious to see when it's such a lot of you know 20 30 dollars almost uh less than Per gram than it was when I got it a year ago. What's changed besides the the dirt that it's in? And you can see some little fine stuff already popping up. A bit of black sand holding at the top there with it. We'll stick the magnet in the next batch before we get it wet. See if any of that's very rarely is there magnetite. Very much magnetite at all in with gold bay. But we might have the, the hematite. But yeah, this stuff definitely is light. It wants to it wants to move very easily. So you gotta be very gentle with that water.
And it is just such a gorgeous day out here. Seems like I ought to be fishing. <laughs> I need to get out and do that. I have not been fishing in a while, and I've kind of had a kind of hankering to go out and do some casting. Kind of kills your motivation whenever the Parks and Wildlife Manual down here shows every bayou that's around me as a do not eat <laughs> fish from listing. It's it's just ridiculous. Even though even the fish out of the Gulf, there's a number of them that have, you know, limit portions, li limit consumption. <laughs> oh, how about if I limit it to, to fucking zero? You know, I'm not gonna. You know, it's uh, there was a, there was major. I knew I knew a couple of people that were in, had the benzene poisoning after uh, the BP well dumped all the. Oil in the Gulf, and, uh, and then come to find out that they were using actual Agent Orange was the dispersant that they were dumping in the Gulf. That uh, they weren't telling they weren't they were using it by its chemical name, and it was like the I was doing work for FEMA at the time. I might have told y'all this story before, but yeah, the uh, the guy I was doing a clean out of the. Supervising the clean out of the bayous from Katrina 10 years earlier, basically. And uh, they were just getting to it, but he had crews that he had pulled and were sending down to the Gulf. And that's why they could only work at 15 and 30 minute, 30 minute intervals. And then you'd have to sit out for 40 minutes or something. And uh, they were wearing the hazmat suits or the, the, at least the not full hazmat, but protection suits. But that's why, because they were being exposed to the exact same stuff that was so uh, devastating to the Vietnam vets that came back after the defoliant was sprayed all over Vietnam and them. And, uh, but yeah, it was just, uh, look at that. There's a nice, nice little pile of gold there out of that. Like I said, we put in quite a bit, but it was very easy to recover. Nothing like getting uh the last stuff out but it is definitely a lot there's some wire pieces in there but it's majority of this stuff is is chunky looking it looks like because that other stuff you couldn't hardly even make out the pieces it was just a gnarly mass of of strings tiny strings and this is stuff is pretty chunky so all right well, i'm going to double check this and we'll be back at the Check out the bottom of the next one. Well, it looks like we actually do have a little bit of black sand added to this one. So, yeah, that's uh, that wasn't just hematite we were dealing with there. That was the magnetite. So, that's uh, that's kind of unusual for Gold Bay. Damn it. That's what happens when you don't hold the hold your hand around this thing and pull it out because it follows it up and then jumps on your magnet at the top got to pay attention so all right well like i said we're gonna get to another one and we'll be back all right we are down to the the lower end of this next pan i did not put as much in on this one but yeah whenever i get done and take it out there and look in the sun i find i see those little tiny specks or flakes that just do not show up as well here in the in the shade and this one it's got a lot of little splinters showing up in it Are y'all watching the the meltdown over Twitter? That has been just a, a, a never a nonstop entertainment. <laughs> it's watching watching the libtards just disintegrate over it. CB, CBS dropped their their Twitter account for all of a half a day. 
and then jump back on and uh but the genius of Elon Musk that uh you know the the he's Trump's back on Twitter and uh you know, of course, it's the end of end of end of society now and, and democracy because uh, you know, <laughs> the, the the ayatollahs have theirs, the uh, Muslim terrorists have theirs, the the Nazi party has none of the, none of these people. All these people have Twitter accounts, but they blocked the president of the United States. But yeah, the mass firings. He fired the skank that had actually blocked uh, Trump, and uh, you know, it was just cleared out. You know, cleared out the masses, and the majority of them are. You know, uh, you know, Karen's bunch of bunch of white libtard, uh, Kool Aid haired women <laughs> that are uh, doing what they do, which is, you know, be horrible. And uh, but he did that poll about should Trump come back on, and it had over fifteen million votes, and it and it won fifty two to forty eight, but. <laughs> but the whole the whole point behind that was now he has over what seven and a half million accounts that are anti trump accounts that are identified, and of those he will be knocking out the what twenty thirty percent that are bot accounts and uh like I said it was just it was a, a perfect inside setup to draw these people out. Because he knew there would be no way they could keep their mouths shut about that. And in doing so, they have busted themselves on the platform where he now has <laughs> the, the information he needs for these accounts. And uh, I mean, it's just like I said, it's just it's been a, a joy to watch day by day. A lot of fun. And it's uh, and now Zuckerberg, you know, <laughs> I haven't been on I haven't, I don't go on Facebook anymore because I just was every time I was on there and made a comment, I got banned. So. You know, and I'm just too busy on YouTube anyway. But yeah, uh, just watching all these libtards going down, the race baiters, the the scumbags, the you know, we've been we've we still you know the the cackling hens on the View got a bunch of yentas and uh and the uh, plate the fake Catholic uh, whatever her name is, Sunny sunny crap hole or whatever but yeah that said uh jesus would be leading the <laughs> the gay pride parade the last week after before that calling uh conservative women who voted for you know suburban women who voted for conservatives were cockroaches voting for raid and i mean just the idiocy that comes from her mouth never ceases but uh yeah all those all of those all the late nights are going down gut filled leads gut filled leads of the bye wide margin of, of views and uh, uh the, the tide is a turning my friends it's it's great to see we just had the latest on lady liberty big big brian big brian griner there over there state visiting in russia enjoying the absence of the american anthem although they have to uh wake up every morning at six o'clock and go out to the courtyard and hear the russian national anthem before she begins her 16 hour day of hard labor whether it's sewing they make them sew uniforms for the military they make them break up frozen coal to burn they make them uh there's any any number of their and if they if they work too slow, then they are they call it torture. I'm sure it's it's punishment, but uh, but yeah, they make her shower once a week. Which I mean, for for the WNBA, that's 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 already twice as much showering as she as they do normally. So she's gonna have to get used to taking more showers there now that she's in uh, communist Russia, but. By God, at least she doesn't have to listen to that that horrid national anthem and uh, be part of this terrible country that she is despised so much. So, you know, I think nine years and 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 the the, the hilarious part is, you know, they're trying to give away every cutthroat murderer that they can offer up to Russia for a, a piece of shit nobody. And uh, 
the real Americans that are that are trapped over there have, have been ignored. But uh, yeah, they uh, they have moved her. She is in solid in the uh, in the gulag. Basically, it is an old Russian gulag. So you know, nobody should be locked up for nine years for for pot. But that's our opinion here, and uh, that Ru Russia does not give a shit what your opinion. They consider bringing dope into their country an affront, an affront. And a, and a personal affront to their country. So, no, you're, uh, you've, you've seen where your privilege line ends there. And, and the fact that she is queer, woman, and black, which are definitely two of those three things they are not fond of at all in Russia. And uh, the, the women just have no rights anyway, Harley. So that, you know, it's, oh, man, it's... Uh, you know, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. She hit the jackpot. So, but you can see there's little flakes all through there. So, I'm going to go work this in the sun and get all those little splinters out. And we'll be back. Well, just to wrap up the thought on, on that <laughs> grinder incident, the, the ironic aspect of all this is that the only way she's probably going to get out is in three years when Trump becomes president <laughs> and uh, he'll be able to, he'll be able to get them out. Uh, they're not going to want to Biden is, is committing, you know, uh, uh, committing. Yeah. Another, another, I think it just went in another $14 billion or something to uh, Ukraine. And uh, yeah, so no, they, the, Russia is not, motivated in any way to do anything for you they don't they don't care about their their you know merchant of death they've got they've got tons of scumbag <laughs> arms dealers in russia you know they can do without theirs very easily to leave uh leave uh, america fretting over their people there so especially ones when he's seeing the reaction to the you know they've told him before you know you, you don't comment on this or we're not going to do anything. And the, they keep commenting and the wife, the husband, the wife, I don't know, whatever they call themselves, but yeah, again, you should be downplaying that you have a same sex <laughs> marriage. Uh, you're not going to get any sympathy from Russia pitching that line of, I want my husband back. You know, they just, they already think we're a bunch of fucking uh, deviant idiots. But, so that's, I just think that's a, an interesting twist to that whole story. The horrible orange man is going to be their only hope. And that's when they'll, that's when they'll let her rot before they uh, let, let him take credit for that. And we have got, when I went to the sun to go through that last pan at the bottom, it was just full of little tiny tiny specks and a couple of splinters but mostly like flower gold level tiny stuff you don't usually see from gold bay in the regular gold in any way so and it took some time it took some time to pick that stuff out so without the uh with that, if it was still in that red clay, that may be that may be why he doesn't put this stuff in there anymore because it doesn't it doesn't come from that material. He would just add that for the the you know the medium to put the this fine gold in, but uh, he was, might not have just been able to again because you just can't wash that red clay down enough to uh, it's what it's the stuff that was in those bayou. Blood Bayou bottles that uh had at Halloween that uh, a few of y'all got different varieties of, but yeah, that uh that's the original red clay that this flower that the, my first wire gold came in. But yeah, you can see right there as it clusters up. Nice, nice little uh nice little fringes there, but again, it's tiny stuff. And then you've got all the little smaller specks that are 
they it just it's so light it moves so easy so but yeah they're uh it's a nice it's a nice little amount there so i'm gonna work this down and get this cleaned up and we'll be back go out in the sun well i moved y'all out here in the sun with me because I just wanted to show you how fine and tiny this stuff is, and you have to move it. The water is so slow. This is why Dave says just to do a little bit at a time, because they're so <laughs> those wires are so fine that just the least bit of current washing across them will carry them down. But just check out that the how i mean there is some fine gold dust in there with those little wires as well it just really really stands out out here in the sun but just check you can see how small and tiny they are just throughout the material so very cool stuff to do i'm thinking maybe uh I mean, it looks it looks a lot like what I had before for sure. Maybe I'm thinking maybe he uh, maybe he just cut it a little bit with because I did not have any of the 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 chunkier pieces like we got from that first above kitchen uh, strainer material. So maybe he's cut it a little bit with some a few bigger chunks, so it's not all the high dollar. You know why it's not ninety dollars? I mean, it looks pretty close to what what I'd gotten before. When I'm seeing this fine stuff, and like I said, I'll, I will, we'll, we'll look at and compare when we get done. But uh, it is, it is some awesome looking stuff to recover. Very fun, uh, fun to do. I haven't, I haven't done any stuff that's like this in a long time. So, like I said it's nice to have something different, and especially when it looks like that, because like I said, you can just see it all through there. Sprinkled like little gold splinters, so you gotta love that. Well, son of a fucking bitch. You can see that light colored dirt there that fits that kind of a pattern right there. I fucking knocked my pan off when I was moving to, to go get in the sun, and it hit my shoe and my pants. I got most of that off of my pants and my shoes, but as you can see, I still have it on the fucking ground. And this is bad. It's fine stuff. So you've seen what I've been getting out of here. So I'm going to try and see where it go. It shoots off. Most of it was caught right here. It's, it's in this area right here. There's a little bit off to this side. So... Um, uh, on this, this is a basically a clay base that's sitting here on these rocks on a hard surface. So you can see it brushes off. And fortunately, it is dried enough that it is not muddy like it has been until basically today. So that has gotten all the loose layer off of here so we're going to use our little flex paper here and try to get it all back with a little extra dirt included oh man i can't believe i said i set it down up there and i was going to I was deciding to take the water over to the table and do this in the sun. And I turned around and it wasn't, it was sitting on the fucking edge of the table. Now it's a little breeze is kicking up here too. But I didn't want to have to dig out this clay ground if I don't have to. Because just trying to take off the top layer, you can see it's all rock. But I'm thinking since it is this hard surface, I might miss 
some tiny, tiny. I know, I know, all gold matters. But. If it's too small to see. <laughs> does it really matter? If an if an invisible if a, an invisible piece of gold falls in the woods and you can't see it, doesn't matter. <laughs> so I think that'll do. That has all the loose stuff that was here on this ground and trapped around these rocks and everything else. So. I don't, I don't. I'm going to keep going through a few more times and hit up everything that might be loose. And uh, we'll be back. Well, that's what I get for jacking around. That's why I always <laughs> stay in the same spot. Try not to be uh, other than taking the bottom of a pan over and looking in the sun. I don't, I don't put material in and carry it around for that reason. And, uh, I know we've watched uh, <laughs> we watched Vendetta doing his live streams, trying to move stuff around and work with it. And, uh, it can it can get very it can get very uh, radical there on you <laughs> to get the drops going. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'd set it down on the edge and it was too close. And as I let go of it, turned around, it dropped off. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at. I guess I was doing the camera something. I didn't. Uh, it was already hitting my leg before i knew that i even had it on you know it was falling and unfortunately a, a bunch of it went on my shoe which is what we're doing right here this is what fell on my pants and my shoe Let's see if there's anything in this little tiny that's what that's it little tiny i went ahead and, and swept broadened my area and swept up more dirt i think i got everything that was loose that's anything loose and sandy enough that's sitting on that clay but yeah i mean you can see that's some there's some little tiny had some fine gold that was in there that came off my leg and my shoe so i mean shit, is that gonna again you could have a hundred pieces of that and it won't come up to any weight and I'm hoping I was using a brisk enough brush action that it it moved any of those little flakes that might have been still on the ground that was below the dirt all right we're uh, down to the bottom of the first I, I split it up into two what we'd recovered so we're going to it should should be about half of what i've been seeing in this and i am seeing some fine stuff showing up so like i said hopefully the only thing left in the dirt was that micro micro pieces that might have gotten away that have been showing up in here David Goldbay has two cardinal rules. Gold doesn't leave the house until money is arrived and guard the gold. <laughs> and I I failed in my second uh, duty there of guarding the gold. But you can see that is a nice amount that is still and some fine and some tiny. I'm seeing tiny, tiny specks. So like I said, I brushed that ground. Luckily, like I said, it is like a clay, almost a a hard clay surface there. And I had that very light, light brush technique on it. So it kind of fluffed that stuff off rather than raking it. Oh, here come the birds. Head somewhere. So yeah, that's looking, uh, I'm feeling better about seeing that for sure. 
as you can see, there is some tiny stuff that is still in there with that. So, phew, if I had only seen the bigger pieces of that, then yeah, I was going to have to go get my, my flat shovel. Like I said, you just have to chip through the rock and, and it just said it would not be, it would not be a very, very enjoyable uh, undertaking, especially when you're talking about almost weightless gold, even at that, to try to recover. So I will count my blessings, be thankful. <laughs> I'll be thankful for that. Look at there, man. I think we I think we got real lucky that on that dump on the ground, the ground dump. So yeah. That's I'll uh I'll take that. That if you'd put if I had done all this together, that would have looked about like it does. In the uh, the last few pans we've done for that same amount, so I am I am pretty confident. You can see that is some tiny stuff we recovered out of that one. So if that came up off the ground, I'm pretty sure. And like I said, I expanded the uh, the cleanup area, so I swept up everything. So I'm. Like I said, I'm counting that as a as a, as a good luck lucky win <laughs> on this on this pan. So, <laughs> challenge of this stuff now is going to be to get it cleaned up with no black sand in it at the end because uh, that's where it gets tough when you're trying to wash that fine stuff clean and not have any contaminated contaminants, black sand contaminants in there. So, all right, I'm going to give this once over in the sun, and uh, I'll be back here at the pan. Not moving the last of it around. Wow, I have to say that was uh, that was pretty crazy. The micro pieces that I was finding out of that pan that I would I could would have never imagined that would have uh, I could have just swept up out of the dirt like that gold that small. I mean, micro tiny micro pieces. So I'd run it through the kitchen strainer when we got done. Well, I mean, before yeah, before I uh, ran the the small stuff there just to get this debris and these bigger rocks that I picked up off the ground out of the way. Just try to keep them out of my. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. I guess I was going to say a few rocks in my. Uh, tailings aren't going to matter because it's gold bait goes in the, the common gold bay jug so nothing in there but that is <laughs> a garnet <laughs> we, 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 we picked up a garnet off the uh, is that another one no but yeah I guess that makes sense out of the uh, thousands of garnets that I've gone through out here <laughs> that there's a uh, one of those got away from us has been sitting here under the table so that's uh that's funny. That's funny to me. All right. It looks, I guess I don't see any more of them in there. All right. We're going to dump that off of the side because it's junk. And that leaves us with a couple of pans left to go through. So I'm going to dump out about half of that and work it down. And then, of course, I'm going to have to go through the tailings thoroughly because I know there's going to be little micros that, uh, that are in there. So, all right, we back. All right. We're at the bottom of another one here next to the last. We did not dump this one on the ground just for something different. <laughs> nice little bit of gold already showing up in that. There has been some some nice gold in every pan for sure. Everything except for the largest uh, largest classification. We had those nice little chunks in the above kitchen strainer. This is all just below kitchen strainer size.
Now what I want to do is shout to shout out for our friend Miss Trudy Taylor over there in the UK. I know she's had the uh, she had the Wuhans catch up with her over there. She was uh, not feeling well, but she was not. I don't think it was a really bad bad case of it. So, Trudy, I hope you're feeling much better. And also our friend Mike Hill, Mike Hill Prospecting. I know he's uh he's been dealing with some pain on his side that uh makes it hard to to do his stuff. And uh, I know it's a it's it's tough to depend on on where it is and how how bad it is. It's hard to function a normal day when you got that nagging at you all the time. So. I hope you're uh I hope you're feeling better, my friend, as well, and that y'all had a a good Thanksgiving. I'm guessing he probably was dealing with the grand the grand chillings. But look at that. Look at all that wiry gold showing up there. Very cool. Little little specks all through there and then the, the bigger. But that's only in relation to the other. That's all tiny. <laughs> the bigger stuff there is small. So, but very cool. Great looking stuff. And like I said, there is some uh, definitely some challenge to working this stuff through. But it's it's doable even if you're not a uh, you know if you're intermittent to uh, even beginner. You can see it. You know, it's not like that other stuff where it was just, uh, and that's the thing. Whenever I made up those Bayou bags, I added, I added the stuff that wasn't in there that made it functional. So I know, uh, I know, uh, Matthew Lopez, I'd send him, uh, one of the little bags there whenever I'd send his order out. Uh, and yeah, he, he said, yeah, it was, it was, it was kind of tough on him. But it, you know, like I said, that not only did it have the red clay, but then it had the the magnetite and the hematite, as well as the pyrite and uh, micas and any number of other things that went in there to and the little gem here or there. So of course you can have gator eyes. We haven't we haven't seen John R. Prospecting go through his yet that he won. <laughs> he's, he's getting caught up from being back on vacation, getting his videos. He'll be uh, I'll be I'll be ragging on him to get in that clay. It's not that much. It's not going to be that bad. It's going to be that bad. <laughs> So, all right. Well, this is our last pan, and we're going to get down to this, and we'll be back. All right. We're at our final pan. Let's see what, see what we have to see in this one. I should think there'll be a little bit, a nice little collection there at the bottom of the bag. But we've gotten a lot of gold already, for sure. That uh, that amount of hematite in there, I mean magnetite in there, really did add a a little bit of work to it at the end, as you can see where that stuff holds next to that fine fine gold. So yeah, again, if you were uh. Wanting to do this and try it for the first time, you could use your magnet to take all that stuff out, and that would make it even easier. You know, if you're wanting to, to try working with some really fine, difficult gold, and not maybe just deal with the the really really tiny flower golds or the you know really really tiny. I mean, this stuff's got some really fine stuff in it. You got to work with, but it also has 
pieces that are big enough to see, like you can see here, easily pick out and uh, recover. So, but at the same time, you have to uh, really use that gentle, get used to using that barely, barely move that water over it when you get to the end. Make sure that stuff wrenched down. But that is a nice, nice cluster of gold for the end. Very pretty and very, very bright gold. So we'll get this cleaned up and then we'll dump our snuffer and see how it all looks together. Because that's, that's some pretty stuff. All right, man, there was again just tiny, tiny, tiny micro gold that was left in that tailings of that pan. This, the small, this is the smallest gold I'm pretty sure I've ever seen come out of uh, Gold Bay. And like I said, that first wire gold was small. And I don't remember it having all the the tiny, tiny flower gold in there with it. And there we have it. Like I said, it's going to be a <laughs> the challenge is going to be to get that all that black sand away from there that's a that is a rock and separate it from that that is a rock that is a rock anything that floats around is a rock and at this point it's pretty easy to separate out but again you can just see how Microfine that stuff is. Got done going through my tailings just as I ran out of sunlight. And like I said, you can see there was some tiny, tiny specks as well as some wires and some little chunks of stew that made it through. So it uh, took as long going back through it as it did going through the first time to get this. So that has been cleaned out. So let's go ahead, and then our other stuff has already been rinsed and repeated and rinsed and repeated. So this is this is pretty clean. We're uh, we're down to just the minimal black sand that'll be showing up that I just couldn't see until I'll get it on the zoom with the camera there on the close up look. But really nice. A fun, a fun bag to go through for sure. It was took some time. It was tough and uh, had a little drama with the <laughs> the pan dump. Uh, fortunately, that that came out with a happy ending. But check that out, man. That is some beautiful looking little wire gold there. And like I said, this stuff seems to be a little chunkier than what I had before. Again, that may be the the difference in the price but see, you can see how that that tiny stuff is in there all the way you can, i can't even see that in the pan without looking at it the camera right here so yeah very nice so we'll get this dried up and see what there's a there's a couple of one little piece in there that I almost let get away because it, it's a rock but it has a little tip it might be that one right there a little tip of gold on it <laughs> so and you know it counts. All gold matters. But yeah, just look how fine that tiny stuff is. Really challenging. So, all right. All right. Well, let's check the pie. All right. It's coming along nicely there. Well, all right. We are in with our beautiful dried gold bay wire gold. Rare wire gold from California and uh, very nice looking 
variety of pieces. We've got our chunks. We've got our small stuff. We've got our really fine stuff up there at the top. I mean, it looks, we're looking for, I mean, for a half a gram, that, I mean, a, a, a gram, that's looking pretty, um, <laughs> that's looking pretty damn good for uh, wire gold. So let's get our scale set up. You may notice that the old gold station looks a little different. Uh, the weigh station I've cleaned up for the, basically the holidays, Christmas season becomes uh, you know, like my spring cleaning for the kitchen and have to scrub everything down because I'm going to be baking and sending stuff out. So it gets the thorough and our pie is done and ready to go. And you're going to be having some of that came out perfect. So the oven's doing very nicely, held its temperature great. So I'm very happy about that. So yeah, we're, uh, and then I've got my little, got to say hi to my little boy here in the, uh, on his, on his stool. Say hi, Hurricane. He doesn't talk. He's not impressed. Yeah. So, and my little girl's around here somewhere. So, all right. But yeah, and then we've got our, our chip. We haven't done this yet. I've got my chip that I received in from T-Rep and, uh, He's wanting to do a like a live stream on it. I just don't have a live stream on the channel before. I'm thinking the thing to do will be like to rec just record a video of doing it and then you know showing the other. We've got the uh, the I bought these as well before I knew it wasn't just a single chip. This is the ghost peppers chips that they have with the super. You can see there it's on the the freaking hot level meter level. So we've got some of these and they've got a, they've got a pretty, you know, pretty well coated. They're a, you know, heavy, heavy season chip. A very light crispy type chip. But as far as the, the fire, hmm. It's a bland, timid entry, suitable perhaps for patients recovering from surgery. <laughs> it has no bite at all. There's a there's a little bit of suggestion of heat there, but yeah, nothing that nothing that when you when you put the name ghost pepper big on your bag, you ought to have a little heat. But there you go. That's what you get with the commercial. This, on the other hand, is very different. It comes with warnings and instructions on how to take the challenge. And you got to show your tongue because it'll turn your tongue blue. And that's the proof that you've eaten it. <laughs> so, uh, so let's uh, get this into our paper here. That fine dust that's in there. And there was some fine, fine gold in this. And again, it did say on the invoice that he was going to make it up, make going a little extra there for the last one that was a little bit short. So there is our scale. Let's check our... We've got 220 grams on it. That's right. So let's add our gold here. Holy, I just moved the paper where I saw the number. Holy cow. Is that right? Can that be right? 1.884. 1.884. That's supposed to be a gram. Of the, I, I, I mean, I, I just said, it. I mean, it looked, it looked like it was a, a, a lot for a gram, but Holy cow, that's, uh, I'm stunned. <laughs> I kind of, kind of took my breath back there a bit. That's, uh, let's double check this scale. Cause man, is that, can that be right from Gold Bay? I'm, I say it wasn't, it wasn't Dave that made this up. It was Brian. Yeah. 20. We're zeroed out, 20 on the scale, on the, on the weight. 
now whenever right now doing this yeah the paper feels heavy <laughs> it feels heavier than a grab when it's on the on the end like that so actually we gained <laughs> we gained a 1.88 it's going between five and six now 1.885 holy cow that is uh like i said i am just stunned over that and uh the uh I buy I buy from Gold Bay under my real name. I don't have I don't you know um, don't buy it under Buy Your Gold Guy. And I mean Dave wasn't. I was going to say Dave doesn't know who I am. I'm pretty sure, but it wasn't even Dave doing this. It was one of his guys. So, uh, I said I don't I don't imagine they would make just just beef it up there for just to. Uh, thinking I might have it on a video or something for this, you know, I said, I don't think they know who I am. So I, um, I'm just kind of taken back. I mean, that's, is that what he just threw in extra for uh, the, my, my first bag was all by like, I, I was only short, like 0 0.004. I, I had found most of it. It's just the fact that it wasn't a, a gram, a full gram at a hundred dollars a gram that uh that i had an issue with at all and that uh and then basically that i didn't get it i never could get a response on it but holy cow man that is and just check out that beautiful stuff we've got the tiny wires and then the fine gold and we've got our nice little chunks but uh that is just awesome man i'm uh Thank you so much, Brian. I'm, uh, like I said, I'm just kind of taken back by that. Like I said, but I was thinking it, it looked like a nice amount of gold. And I know this fine stuff. That's why whenever I bought the first one, I was wishing I had bought more because it didn't look like that much whenever you had the wire. Um, actually, we're going to look at the first batch and just compare it to this one. But you can see, look at those little tiny fine wires in there of that gold. That is just, that's just incredible. So let's, uh, let's crunch some numbers on this first and get a, get a feel for, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're already in the whatever, the 100 and 120% range on this. So we'll be right back. So yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, this bit of gold, this little bit of gold here we got today. Look, you know, look how look how fine that's. So there's still a little. Some of these black pieces are actually one of them was a piece of gold that had a rock that had a, a little sprig of gold coming out the end of it, like a point. That's got some a little bit of rock in it. Yeah. That one's got a little black tip on it. But yeah, so some of these pieces are kind of kind of black and. Um, I think there's one right there. That's the one I was talking about. That's got you can see it's it's gold, but it's got that little black tip on the end of it there. So <laughs> just cool stuff. So like I said, I uh, this bag was uh, seventy five dollars and ninety five cents for the one gram bag of the wire gold, and it had the five percent off October deal. So. It took three dollars and eighty cents off, so that made my material value worth seventy-two dollars and fifteen cents. Um, uh, Eight fifty was postage, but I don't I don't count postage on the returns, you know. So that gives me for the day I bought it at sixteen hundred and forty-nine dollars an ounce, or fifty-three dollars and eighty cents a gram, a um, one point eight eight six grams gives me a $100 even gold value on this. And uh, at $72.15 material value, that gives us a 139% ROI on this bag of gold. So again, just, uh, just stunning. And I'm just really, really grateful, thankful. <laughs> it's a, it is the season to be thankful. So I am really thankful for, uh, for this lovely amount of gold that will go in with the wire gold and here let's
transfer this over and take a look at And you might notice you say if you if you I don't know if you saw that on the scale and wondered about it, but whenever I was cleaning the <laughs> when I was cleaning the uh, the counter, I had I had that come up that showed up on the <laughs> and a, a nice is at waste point zero five zero five four grams so yeah a little a little point zero five four chunk of gold that uh i've seen i've seen people win bags that didn't have that much gold in it <laughs> and so uh but that's definitely one that i lost from when i was making up pay dirt or making up prize bottles or something along those lines i'm sure so this is our this is our gold that i got for a hundred dollars a gram and again was in the red clay very hard to recover this little piece trying to roll off there first thing and it looks darker already just in the light a little bit but Again, we have some, same as this one, kind of there's a few rounder, chunkier pieces in here with this. But I think maybe this looks like the, the gold, the, uh, the wires on this one might be a little bit, a little bit thicker. It has just a, a kind of a different character to it, it seems like to me, just looking at it here right off the, from the start. But uh, it's pretty beautiful stuff. Again, it was my this was my first uh, like specimen type gold, definitely gold that was a hundred dollars a a gram. And then, of course, since then we've gotten the hundred and fifty dollar a gram quartz gold that's so beautiful. But you can see that has a different, a little different character to it. It seems than uh, than our first. Pop this other one back up here real quick and do a, an immediate comparison there behind. Yeah, this this stuff seems like it's just a bit, maybe a bit chunkier with the with the smaller wires in it. That may be why this stuff was. Uh, like I said, it was maybe it was cut a little bit with besides just the straight wire gold, a little bit smaller to get it down to that, you know, say less twenty-five dollars a gram less than uh, that stuff that we just looked at. So it does have a a little different look. I'm I don't know if I'll keep these. I thought I was gonna have it all combined. Oh, my battery's going down here, so just in time to wrap this part up well i promised equal time to my kitties so here's little angel say guys say hi she's she's the only cat i've ever had that actually likes to be hugged <laughs> don't you my little my little rescue so there we go so yeah man i've got a it's a black friday we actually went into black friday got my uh turducken drumstick enjoying here nothing better than a cold drumstick after thanksgiving I'm going to have a piece of pie, and then we're going to have more leftovers tonight for dinner. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I know we ran a little long on this one, but uh, kind of had a lot of stuff in it and, and the the the, the um, incident, <laughs> the dirt incident. But um, again, thank you guys so much for uh, joining me on this episode of Bayou Gold Guy. I am Bayou Gold Guy. And it was a fun Thanksgiving. Appreciate all of you guys that were on the uh, live chat for our Vendetta Gazette Gold Monthly episode. And uh, that, that made for a great Thanksgiving night, I have to say. Very enjoyable. And I look forward to chatting with you all again. And um, if you're new to the channel, uh, please hit that subscribe button and maybe join us on a live chat sometime. Uh, set the notifications and you'll get... Sometimes you'll get notified. But um, special thanks to Gold Bay 
and uh, Dave and Brian who made up that bag. And like I, like I told you guys, I'm, I'm just kind of dumbfounded that we got that much gold out of that bag and beautiful gold. So, and I, again, I do not, I'm not associated with any of these companies and, and I buy through my own name. There's some of them that know who I am, but very, very few. Uh, so I'm, like I said, I'm just, uh, and I don't think they'd be beefing it up just to try to get it on a video anyway, because people know what to get. You know, if you don't get what you see, then you're not going to be happy. So again, make sure you understand that all pay dirts are, are different. Every bag of the same company is going to be different. So, but uh, the good ones are consistent. So that being said, happy Thanksgiving. We're going into the holidays. I'm going to go out and see if I can track down a tree. I'm, I'm worried because the, 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 the place where I've been buying my trees for, a, you know, years now, the lot is under construction. They're building a big warehouse there. So I've got to go out and see if I can track down where the, the tree lot is this year because they're about the only one in town where you can get them. So got that to deal with. But at any rate, it was a good time, a great pile of gold, very fun. I'd recommend it highly, except... It is out of stock now. I was with talking to John R. Prospecting, and uh, he was going to see about picking up some because I was telling him how he should. It was fun, and uh, it's not on the it's not on the website now as far as it's, it shows it's out of stock. So, and you've got to really look for it. it. I don't know why Gold Bay has done what they've done to their website, but it's uh, very difficult to find stuff on it now. You know, compared to what it used to be. But that being said, it's worth the it's worth the uh, effort. When you can, uh, you know, get some of that. Like I say, you've got some very unique gold uh, that you can't get anywhere else on Gold Bay. So check them out. And uh, again, thank you for joining me. And till the next time, my friends, peace out.